The Song of the Golden Harp In the land of Melodia, where music flowed like rivers and every breeze carried a melody, there lived a young bard named Aria. Aria possessed a gift for music unlike any other, a voice that could soothe the soul and a touch that could bring tears to the eyes of even the most hardened listener. But despite her talent, Aria's heart was heavy, for her homeland had fallen under the shadow of a tyrant king who had outlawed music and imposed a reign of silence upon the land. Determined to bring music back to the people of Melodia, Aria embarked on a quest to find the fabled golden harp, a magical instrument said to possess the power to break the king's curse and restore music to the kingdom. Guided by the whispers of the wind and the songs of the birds, Aria journeyed deep into the heart of the enchanted forest, where the golden harp was said to be hidden. Along the way, she faced many trials and tribulations, from treacherous creatures to dark enchantments. But with each challenge she faced, Aria grew stronger and more determined to succeed. She sang to the trees, played her lute to calm raging storms, and used her voice to heal the wounds of those she encountered on her journey. Finally, after many days of travel, Aria reached the heart of the enchanted forest, where she found the golden harp lying atop a pedestal of shimmering gold. With trembling hands, she reached out to touch the harp, and as her fingers brushed against its strings, a beautiful melody filled the air. The sound of the harp echoed throughout the forest, piercing the darkness and bringing light and hope to all who heard it. And as the last notes faded into the distance, the curse of silence that had plagued the land was broken, replaced by the sweet sound of music once more. From that day forward, Aria was hailed as a hero throughout the kingdom of Melodia, revered for her bravery and her unwavering dedication to the power of music. And though her quest had come to an end, her songs would echo through the ages, a testament to the enduring magic of music and the indomitable spirit of those who believe in its power. The Lost City of Eternia Deep in the heart of a dense jungle, shrouded in mist and mystery, there lay a hidden city known as Eternia. Legends spoke of Eternia as a place frozen in time, where ancient magic and forgotten civilizations lay dormant beneath the thick canopy of trees. One day, a brave explorer named Marcus set out on a quest to find the lost city of Eternia, driven by tales of its untold riches and untold secrets. With a map in hand and a sense of determination in his heart, Marcus ventured deep into the jungle, hacking his way through thick underbrush and navigating treacherous terrain. As Marcus journeyed deeper into the jungle, he encountered numerous obstacles and dangers, from ferocious beasts to cunning traps laid by those who sought to protect the secrets of Eternia. But with each challenge he faced, Marcus grew more determined to uncover the truth behind the legends. Finally, after many days of travel, Marcus stumbled upon the ruins of an ancient temple hidden deep within the jungle. Excitement surged through his veins as he realized that he had found the entrance to Eternia. With cautious steps, Marcus entered the temple, his heart racing with anticipation. Inside, he found himself surrounded by crumbling stone walls adorned with intricate carvings and faded murals depicting scenes from a bygone era. As Marcus explored the temple further, he discovered a series of chambers filled with ancient artifacts and relics, 
each one more mysterious than the last. But at the heart of the temple, he found what he had been searching for a massive chamber containing a glowing crystal orb, said to hold the key to unlocking the secrets of Eternia. With trembling hands, Marcus reached out to touch the orb, and as his fingers made contact, a blinding light filled the chamber, illuminating the darkness and revealing the true majesty of Eternia. And as he stood in awe of the city's splendor, Marcus realized that his quest had only just begun. For the secrets of Eternia were vast and endless, and he knew that he would spend the rest of his days unraveling their mysteries and uncovering the truths of this ancient land. The Weaver's Dream In the village of Silverbrook, nestled in the heart of a verdant valley, there lived a young girl named Elara. Elara was known throughout the village for her skill with the loom, weaving intricate patterns and vibrant colors into every tapestry she created. Heart a desire to weave a tapestry unlike any the world had ever seen, one that would capture the beauty of the natural world and the magic of her dreams. One night, as Elara slept, she found herself transported to a wondrous realm where the stars danced in the sky and the moon cast its silvery light over fields of flowers in bloom. In this realm, Elara met a mysterious figure known as a dream weaver, who offered to teach her the secrets of the universe through the art of weaving. Under the dream weaver's guidance, Elara learned to weave with threads of stardust and moonlight, creating tapestries that shimmered with otherworldly beauty. Each night, she would return to the realm of dreams, honing her skills and expanding her understanding of the cosmos. But as Elara delved deeper into the world of dreams, she began to lose touch with reality, spending more and more time in the realm of the Dreamweaver and neglecting her duties in the village. Concerned for her well-being, Elara's family and friends urged her to return to the village and focus on her craft. Reluctantly, Elara bade farewell to the Dreamweaver and returned to Silverbrook, where she threw herself into her work with renewed vigor. But try as she might, she could not recapture the magic of the dream realm, and her tapestries lacked the spark of inspiration that had once fueled her creativity. Feeling lost and alone, Elara sought solace in the forest surrounding the village, hoping to find inspiration among the trees and streams that had always been her greatest source of comfort. As she wandered through the woods, she stumbled upon a clearing bathed in sunlight, where a single flower bloomed amid a sea of green. In that moment, Elara felt a surge of inspiration unlike anything she had ever experienced before. With trembling hands, she gathered flowers and leaves from the forest floor, weaving them into a tapestry that reflected the beauty of the natural world and the magic of her dreams. When she returned to the village, Elara's tapestry was met with awe and wonder by all who beheld it. In its intricate patterns and vibrant colors, they saw the essence of the world around them, the dance of the stars, the whisper of the wind, and the eternal beauty of nature. From that day forward, Elara was hailed as a master weaver, revered for her ability to capture the essence of life itself in her tapestries. And though she never forgot the lessons she had learned from the Dreamweaver, she knew that her true inspiration lay not in the realm of dreams, but in the world around her.